SEO is a critical part of any website. In this video, we'll set up Storyblock and Nuxt SEO Kit to not only control meta tags, but also generate dynamic images for social sharing. At a high level, we want to make sure that a CMS has all the necessary information to populate our SEO meta tags. One reason I like Storyblock is it comes with a plugin that helps with this called SEO Meta Fields. So we can install it and then add it to our project Storyblock space. Then let's say we want to add metadata to all of our blog posts. We can go to our blog editor and then add a new field with a type of plugin. And inside this field, let's go ahead and select the meta fields plugin. Now, if we edit or create a blog post, not only do we get the nice visual editor that we're used to in Storyblock, but we also get this meta fields area with a preview of what our title and description might look like as a Google result. I think this really helps contextualize our content and it's a nice little touch. So now that we have the content in Storyblock, we need a way to convert this data into actual tags inside of our app. We could use Nux use head Composable and specify a meta field, but the better solution is to use Nuxt's built-in use SEO meta or use server SEO meta that give us amazing type safety specifically for meta tags. So once we fetch our story block content, and if you don't know how to do this, check out my intro video down below, we can use use server SEO meta to add these tags on the server side and not run anything extra on the client. If we're just adding static strings, we could pass them directly like this, but since we're using this ref from story block, we want to use a syntax similar to computed. So we'll get our story doll value, content, metadata, and then our title and description. And now if we go to our blog post in our browser, we can see that our meta tags are being added from our store block content to the head of our page. And this is already great. We have a way to control our meta tags directly from store block. You can obviously extend this to whatever fields you want, but I think we can do even better by using the Nuxt SEO Kit template. Nuxt SEO Kit is an amazing template from Harlan that uses Nuxt Extends to add a bunch of SEO libraries into a Nuxt 3 project. I highly recommend checking out the docs for details about each module, but the one we're gonna look at right now is Nuxt OG image, which allows us to generate dynamic social share images based off our content data. So to get started, let's install Nuxt SEO Kit and then add it to our Nuxt Extends inside of our config. So first, what are dynamic OG images? And to see that, let's take a look at an example. If we go to the Vercel blog, we can see that the cover image for each post follows a similar structure, but the content is dynamically generated. With Nuxt OG image, we can build a component that generates these images using data from Storyblock. For every image that we want to have a blog post, we can give our title and description to Nuxt OG image, and not only will it generate the image for us, but the module will also automatically set the OG image meta tag. The one bit of configuration we need to do is specify our site URL inside of our public runtime config. Next, inside of our Nux page for our blog post, we can use the auto-imported define OG image static composable and pass it our title and description. And this handles all the heavy lifting for us. We get an image using a default template and it sets the meta tag. So if we go to our blog post in the browser, we can see our OG image tag being set. And if we open up the super cool Nux dev tools, we get a new OG image tab that gives us a preview of our generated image. So our default template is cool to see how everything works. But now let's make something custom and beautiful that shows some additional information about the author. First, in story block, let's add two more fields to our blog post content type, author, which is a text field, and author image, which links to our story block asset library. And now we can build our custom template. Let's create a new component using Nuxt experimental island components by using .server.view. And if you haven't enabled this feature in your project yet, make sure to go to your Nuxt config and accept experimental component islands to true. Then to start building our component, let's just go to the documentation and copy the default template. It uses Satori, a Vercel library that converts HTML and CSS into SVGs. It has some rendering limitations that you can read about in the docs, but for our purposes, it works pretty well. And looking at it from a pure data perspective, it works like a standard view component. We can take props and render stuff. So let's adjust our props to include our author information and then display and style everything inside of our template. So now we can go back to our blog post component and update our defined OG image static to use our custom template as well as pass our additional props. And that's all. If we take another look at the DevTools panel, we can see a pretty nice looking image that's all being generated with data and content from Storyblock. Of course, you can use Nux SEO kit no matter how you manage your content. But the one thing I really enjoy about Storyblock is how friendly the visual editor is and how well it fits in a content workflow. You can create usable blocks, set permissions, make changes quickly, and just have a ton of control over how things work. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.